hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making kind of a fun soap with succulents is my theme and I'm calling the soap Desert Garden and for the fragrance I'm going to be using it's called Cucumber Ice from Wholesale Supply Plus um, but I'm using this because it smells so fresh and green and I thought it went with the theme. Um, I bought these really adorable little succulent molds for embeds and I made a bunch of these. And they're little succulents and I'll show you um, how I brushed them with mica to kind of give some dimension so they're not just a flat color. I thought they turned out adorable. So I'll be putting these down on top um, and I'm going to be doing a purple and a green swirl to kind of because succulents that I've seen have sort of purple and green color hues so that's my springboard for this and both of these colors are from Brambleberry. I have evergreen mica which is beautiful and orchid and I'm just going to be using a little because I want them muted. I don't want like a vibrant color. I want a very sort of muted color. What I'm going to put in because of the succulent theme, I'm going to be using organic aloe vera juice for my lye solution. And to the base of the soap batter, I will be adding aloe leaf powder. I buy this in bulk and um, it's just a great additive um, for the beneficial properties and um, I thought the color of it it just sort of went with the whole theme that I'm doing so let me see I've got I'm going to do a drop swirl with a hanger in the body of the soap I'm going to save off a little in my piping bag hopefully and I have this little star tip that I'm going to use to just do like little dollops to fill in the space between my succulent embeds so the top is really full and lovely looking uh, I'm going to get everything pulled together. I have my aloe solution cooling and we will come back and make some desert garden succulent themed soap. All right, so I've got my little um, succulents here. These are actually uh, cold process. I had some leftover batter. These are melt and pour. But all that being said, I'm going to show you this is just a little cheap eyeshadow brush that I have that I wasn't using. Um, paintbrush would work fine and I took out some micas here this is from nurture soap this is what is it blackberry which is a, just a dark purpley um, to dust and then I have silver mist and I'll show you how I do this so these are very purple um, so I just barely dip the tip of the brush in here and tap off all the excess and because that just looks it's very flat and one-dimensional and this just brings and I'm just going to touch the tips and just sort of go around and dust off just a little bit on the tips and look how much better that looks. It kind of just brings it to life and adds dimension to it. So I'm going to do this color, the dark purple on these ones and then um, I'll do the silver mist on the green. So I like to just do the tips first and then sort of just lightly dust over everything and it see it just takes it to a whole new level here's a little tiny one I'll try and hold it up real close all right that's a little messy but hey whatever so I'm just gonna dust the little tips and then it just kind of sticks to the raised parts but look how much better that looks they're so cute so let me uh, tap off all that and get one of these. All right, let's do a nice, oops, big one here. So I've got my silver mist here, and I'm just gonna hit the tips and just sort of dust through. And there, it just brings it to life for me. It just adds something really nice to it. So I'll do, uh, here, I'll do one more and then um, I won't bore you with the rest of these, but just so tickled. So it's just flat, one dimensional, not a lot going on and kind of dresses it up a little. There. So I'm just going to do the rest of these and uh, we'll come on back. Okay, I've got my butters and oils all melted together and cooled down, and to this I'm going to add my additives. Uh, and today I'm not using colloidal oats. I 
usually do, but sometimes I don't. Today I'm not. I'm going to use this aloe leaf powder since I'm using the aloe vera juice and this has the succulents on top. I just sort of went, thought it went with the whole theme of this sort of a desert garden theme. Um, and it does have just a very gentle exfoliant and it'll be like little speckles, but um, I'm just going to put a nice rounded teaspoon in the entire batch and let that get absorbed in here. And it has wonderful skin benefits. Um, I think it's great. And it even has a very pleasant smell. It does, it actually smells like aloe. Um, so that's in there. And now I will add my kale and clay. Two tea, no, two tablespoons, that's what this is, of kaolin. And we're gonna blend that in. Uh, and I will go ahead and add my fragrant oil in here and get this all blended up together. Uh, and absorbed in there and then we'll get our aloe vera lye solution and get rolling on. And my aloe vera lye solution is ready to go here and to this it has sodium lactate and tussa silk fibers along with our organic aloe vera juice which is just awesome. So to this uh, I do have the fragrance and the aloe leaf powder was a little bit browner than I wanted so I put about a half a teaspoon of um, titanium dioxide mixed with water in here just to lighten it up a little um, because I want my colors to come out. So I'll go ahead and add my aloe juice here and I'm gonna hand stir this and we'll split it off for our colors. And that cucumber ice fragrance is so nice and fresh. And to me, it just, it sort of smelled like a succulent garden. So that's why I'm using it <laughs> in here, even though cucumbers aren't succulents, but they're juicy and they're green. And <laughs> I just felt like it all went, but it sure is a fresh smelling uh, fragrance. And it said that it doesn't discolor or accelerate trace. So that's why I was comfortable putting it in the oils so that it's evenly distributed. So we've already got emulsion here very nicely. So I'll go ahead and split off for my color swirls. Let me pull these over so you can see what I'm doing. And those little flecks in there, that's the aloe leaf powder. So there are my swirls. And I will just be saving a little to go in my piping bag. So I'm gonna just set that one off to the side and let's get our colors in here. And again, this gorgeous evergreen from Brambleberry. I think we'll put that uh, in the big one. So that's about a teaspoon and the orchid mica, again, Brambleberry, about a half a teaspoon. And we'll see how those colors look. Can always add a little more later. So I'm gonna go ahead and just whisk these in, kind of just get a gauge for how it's behaving, how we like the colors, and then we can stick blend as needed after that. But this is perfect. I didn't want it super vibrant. I wanted sort of muted. You know how um, succulents come in a wide range of greens and actual purple hues that are really beautiful, but they're not like primary colors. So I definitely wanted the more muted coloring and I think we've got it perfect. I'm not gonna add any more colors here. I'm very happy with these. So I'm gonna pull out my little whisks and I might give these a quick buzz with the stick blender. Blend up. And then let me just hop in here, lightest to darkest. I think what I'd like to do is I'm just going to do a drop swirl and run my hanger in here just because I've been really happy with how those kind of swirls have been coming out. So with a nice little base layer of the plane, and then we'll sort of go back and forth with these.
I've gotten all my succulent embeds placed and I'm just waiting for this frosting to firm up enough so it'll hold so um, probably about 10 minutes and we'll come back and pipe some little dollops in there to fill in the blank spaces. and it's been about 24 hours. Um, I did put a blanket over this, let it go through gel phase, but I wanted to show you this really quick. This is the succulent mold that I used to make those. Um, if you can see, it's a, just a Wilton mold. I got this on, I think I got this on eBay. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at a craft store in the cake decorating section. So that's just what I used for the little um, succulents. So let's get in here and see uh, how this lovely came out. 